In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best Town Hall 4 attack strategy in Clash of Clans. Let's get right into it. First things first, let me show you guys the exact army we're going to be using throughout this entire video. Here it is. We got 15 archers, 13 balloons, and then 3 balloons in the clan castle. You don't need clan castle troops for this attack to work, but they're definitely useful. Anything level 4 and higher really helps you 3 star. If you have clan castle troops, it's like a guaranteed 3 star. If you don't have clan castle troops, it's like a 95% chance of 3 starring. So either way, this attack crushes. And let's get right into it. I'm going to be showing you guys 3 or 4 attacks in this video against Town Hall 4s. All the attacks are going to be live. Maybe I'll even attack a Town Hall 5, show you guys how good this attack strategy is. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when I find a base. Actually, looks like I found a decent Tunnel 4 right here. First thing you're going to want to do is zoom out and look for corner builder huts on the base. Lots of people like to put different buildings in the corner of the base to make you time fill. You don't want to time fill because this army takes a long time to use. So first thing, you want to drop one archer near the clan castle to check if it has defensive troops in it. It doesn't. So next up, what you're going to want to do is target the air defense. Air defense is the number one thing you want to target on these Tunnel 4 attacks of balloons. So on this base, it looks like a pretty easy Tunnel 4 base. So what I'm going to do is just drop all 13 of my balloons in one spot and they're going to go straight for that air defense. Once that air defense goes down, it's pretty much a guaranteed 3 star, especially since there's no defending clan castle troops. I have 14 archers just for cleanup. Once that air defense goes down, there's only two archer towers defending and that's pretty much a 3 star. I don't even have to use my clan castle troops on this attack i could save them for a future attack you don't always need to use your clan castle troops remember that guys and once your balloons start taking down all the defenses that's when you want to start dropping your archers spread them out through the base and the reason i said check for the corners in the beginning of the attack was because you don't want to time fail so now that i have all my archers dropped it's now just a matter of time we have plenty of time on this attack a minute 50 seconds pretty much just watch your balloons Go around and take out the rest of the base you could use your clan castle troops if you want to speed up the attack there is no need to though super simple guys on this kind of base here when the air defense is on the edge it's an automatic three star no clan castle needed when the air defense is on the middle that's when it gets different that's when you need your clan castle to tank for your level two balloons because your level two balloons aren't that strong that's why you get those friendly clan castle troops from your friends and your clan and they help you three star other bases but for this base, we don't need help from any friends. We could three star it on our own. And there we go, guys. A nice and easy three star right there, plus 32 trophies. A very nice. Make sure you go and train your army right back up. What did we have? 13 balloons and then 15 archers, I think. We could go right back in since we didn't use our clan castle. I love when that happens. No time wasted. Let's go find another Town Hall 4 base. All right, we found another Town Hall 4 base here. Looks pretty good. First thing, like last attack, check the corners. Nothing's in the corners. Second step is check for defensive troops. No defensive troops, very nice. So on this base here, first defense towards the edge is again the air defense. So if that ever happens, guys, you do not need to use your clan castle troops. Remember that. You want to save those clan castle troops. Don't use them if they're not needed. So just drop all 13 balloons right for that air defense. And that should lead to a three star. And if it doesn't, don't worry because you could always use your clan castle troops. You don't always need to save them, but it's pretty useful to save them because you can't request 24 seven. And it is kind of annoying to have be that one clan member that just keeps requesting troops over and over and over and over again without donating much. But here we go, two attacks and two three stars without even using any clan castle troops. This is perfect. This is what we like to see Attacks without using clan castle troops and still 3 starring is amazing because it's kind of hard. It gets harder at the higher town halls. At lower town halls, it's pretty easy. So don't get used to it, I guess I could say. But as you can see, I dropped my 15 archers after all those defenses went down. The level 2 balloons took care of those defenses really easily. And another 3 star. All these attacks are back to back to back. I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video my battle log, which shows my recent attacks. Showing you guys I did all these attacks in a row. No fails in here. It's not like I'm recording this attacks like one and then failing three times and then recording another. I'm doing all these attacks back to back to back to back. After this attack, I'll actually show you my battle log just to prove that real quick. And there we go. Another three star without using any clan castle troops. So what we're going to do again is train our balloons. 
because we want to do one more attack for you guys in this video. I'm actually going to gem those up, show you guys my battle log real quick. Boom, 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 three three stars. I didn't even show you guys this one, but two three stars recorded and then three three stars. Let's try to make it four in a row here. We're into Bronze League one, nice. All right, let's get right back in there and try to get another triple. Not gonna record me searching because that takes a little bit, but I'll be right back when I find a nice Town Hall 4. Finally, we found another nice Town Hall 4 here. I'm pretty sure it's maxed. Same thing as always, check the corner of the base. Next up, we're gonna wanna drop one balloon because I'm not sure if that one archer could reach the CC to lure out the troops. There's no defensive CC troops, which is great. On this base here, I'm kind of nervous that without the clan castle, we can't three star. But what we're gonna do is try to three star it without the clan castle. But if we can't do it, it's all good. We could drop those clan castle troops in the end and then drop them on one archer tower and then they'll easily be able to triple the base. I'm just worried that they might get picked off by these archer towers one by one so that we have to drop the clan castle troop. It looks like what I was thinking might come true. We'll have to find out though, cause it's not over yet. I think I have like, how many balloons left? Can't really tell, four or five. Let's see if they could take out these last two Archer Towers without using our Clan Castle troops. This would be really impressive because I think this is a completely maxed out Town Hall 4 with no offensive CC if I could 3 star it. So that'd be nice. It looks like I'm going to be able to, honestly. Wow. Are balloons this overpowered? No way. Oh my gosh, they are. And as you could see throughout that attack, guys, I was dropping my Archers. Just to save some time, you could drop your Archers. Don't want to drop them too late because then you might time fail but if you drop them too early you don't want the defensive to take them out so drop them as soon as those defenses go down around the base they'll take out all those buildings your balloons will take out the rest of the buildings left and boom guys three attacks and three three stars of no offensive cc troops this is easier than i thought it'd be i thought this was a little harder like i thought you had to use the clan castle troops on offense the three star tunnel four but clearly i'm wrong it's really easy to 3 star this army. The one downside I'd probably say of this army is it costs a lot of elixir, so it's not the best farming army, but it's definitely the best army at 10 4. Not the best farming army, the best army to 3 star. There's a difference, I know a lot of people say in my other attack strategy videos, these armies are too expensive, these armies only work if you have good CC troops, it's the best army at that town hall. It's not the best farming army at that town hall. It's not the best war army. Actually, usually it is the best war army if it's the best army, but you guys get the point. It costs a lot of elixir, but it's worth it if you need it for war, if you're a max town hall of four, whatever it is, three attacks at three three stars. And for the last attack, I'm definitely gonna show you guys me three starring an enemy town hall four while using my clan castle troops because i haven't done that in this whole video and i just got to show you guys how strong the clan castle troops make the attack because they just blow it over from being good to amazing a tunnel four with and without clan castle troops is a huge difference especially because usually your friends could help you out if they're higher level than you get you better than level two balloons here we go found a nice tunnel two let's lure the cc nothing's in the clan castle next up we're gonna drop these the CC balloons first and then we drop all of our loons. We're gonna save two actually and the reason I dropped it over there guys This is important. You want to drop it closest to the air defense There's always gonna be at least one defense before the air defense that gets targeted by the balloons So on this attack I dropped it right next to the archer tower and then they went straight to the air defense right after the archer tower You don't want to drop it say at the other archer tower because then it would go to the other cannon and then finally to the air defense you want to drop it as close as possible to the air defense. And there we go, guys. Another attack, another three star, four attacks, four three stars. Best town of four attack strategy in the game. Hope you guys learned something from this video if you're a town of four or if you're making a new account and you're way higher town hall, but you got a new account that's town of four. If this is your first account, welcome to the game. It should be about anywhere from like, I don't know, a week to a month in maybe a few days in the game make sure not to rush your account try to max out almost everything before you upgrade the town hall learn the attack strategies as you go because they'll be real useful if you make another account in the future or if you just want to learn the basics from town hall to town hall it really helps develop your attacks throughout the game 
If you learn like 10 all 9 really well and 10 all 10 really well, you'll be better at 10 all 11 and 12, so on. If you skip learning 10 all 11 and 12, you'll be lost at 10 all 13. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Let me give you guys some tips actually on 10 all 4. So, a few tips I would say around 10 all 4, you should be getting towards getting that new third builder. You should be almost saved about 500 gems if you have two builders. You should almost have about 500 gems saved up and that'll get you that third builder which I have really useful. You want to save your gems all the time guys to get five builders. That's like the most important thing in the game. The only reason I'm not going for it on this account is because this account is staying tunnel 4 forever. So there's no point in me trying to get five builders. It doesn't do anything on this base because it's staying tunnel 4 forever. Most of you guys will try to go highest town hall as you can. The only reason I'm staying here is because I'm trying to have one account of each town hall maxed out and staying there forever. To get gems guys, you do achievements, which are on your profile. You scroll down, you see all these achievements. And you also remove obstacles. Each obstacle gets you around one or zero to six gems. It varies every time. There's actually a certain order every time that recycles. If you guys ever want to look that up, I made a video on that. And uh, yeah, make sure to remove all these obstacles. Don't remove these special obstacles though. Everyone likes to keep those. Not everyone. I like to keep those. We got the 8th anniversary cake. We got the vacant tomb. What else do I have over here? The 2020 X mystery. Some cool obstacles that are special to you. Don't remove those. And that's pretty much it guys. Now that's the end of the video. Town Hall 4. Best attack strategy in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment, recommend it to your friend. If you think they need help with Tunnel 4, watch some of my other attack strategies. If you're not Tunnel 4, have attack strategies on every single Town Hall. I also upload daily Clash of Clans videos on the channel, so if you guys enjoy this video, you'll probably enjoy some others. I'm rambling now. And also, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stop talking now, let you guys get back to the game, keep on clashing. Thank you again for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.